Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got a chilly night ahead, but after that, high pressure is going to be building in. That's going to give us much warmer temperatures during this day and more sunshine as well in the forecast. That's what we'll be dealing with, but for tonight, we're going to be dealing with some chilly temperatures, and because of that, a freeze warning is in effect from 1 a.m. through 9 a.m. Wednesday morning for Josephine, Jackson, and also Eastern Curry County. Uh, basically for the areas outside of the urban corridors, such as outside of Medford, and just uh, outside of uh, Grants Pass as well. This is going to include the Illinois Valley and the Applegate Valley. Also includes Cave Junction and as I said outside of urban areas temperatures are going to range between about 26 and 33. These conditions may kill crops and other sensitive vegetation if not protected. Now for the coast low temperatures will generally be in the 30s and 40s. We have a slight chance for evening showers otherwise just cool temperatures. With the offshore flow tomorrow the wind out of the north northeast 5 to 15 there could be some higher gusts. We're going to have highs ranging from the 50s to the low 60s but with that offshore flow we may have a Chetco effect. Here here in Brookings, and that's the reason why I'm going a little bit warmer at 70. Again, more sunshine in the forecast. West Valleys, your lows will be in the 20s and 30s. Maybe a few showers this evening, otherwise tapering off. Late tonight into tomorrow morning, we may see some areas of fog and low clouds. And with temperatures going below freezing, we could even see some freezing fog. A freeze warning is also in effect for central Siskiyou County from 1 a.m. through 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. This includes Wairika and also Montague as well. Wairika, we're going for low in the upper 20s. Your highs tomorrow generally in the 60s to possibly around 70. Again, there could be some morning areas of fog and low clouds. Otherwise, more sunshine. East of the Cascades, lows will be in the teens and 20s. There is a possibility for some evening rain and snow showers. 22 for the low for Klamath Falls. And your highs tomorrow, generally in the 50s to around 60, a little cooler up towards Crater Lake at 46. We'll have sunshine mixing it with some clouds. The wind out of the northeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Check out that warming trend. Thursday right through Monday, highs in the 70s and possibly low 80s. Grab the sunscreen. You're going to still have some cool starts in the 30s and 40s. And also, east of the Cascades, for the Klamath Basin, we're going for 57 on Wednesday. Check out those lows, though, in the 20s and 30s, but we do warm up into the 60s on Thursday. Low 70s for potential highs Friday through Monday with more sunshine overall. And for Northern California, Mount Shasta City, 62 for Wednesday. Still some cool starts going into the 70s for highs. Thursday right through Monday with more sunshine. And for the coast, our temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s for highs. However, with that Chetco effect on Wednesday and Thursday around Brookings, we could even have warmer temperatures than what's advertised there on Wednesday and Thursday. Your low temperatures will generally be in the 30s and 40s. And we're looking at sunshine mixing in with some clouds.